Good morning. It's great to see you again on this Monday morning in July. I think it's the 11th today. We're cruising right on through. I had a fantastic weekend. I hope you had a great weekend. We have folks in the town that I live in that make it so special to be a part of this place. And they put on a special day on Saturday for uh, to celebrate a summer program we have. There were activities all day long, well into the night. A movie capped off everything, and honestly, it was past my bedtime. I was in bed before it finished, but it was a fantastic day. And Sunday had a great day in worship. I hope you were able to have a great weekend and maybe worship in however way you worship as well. So today, let me introduce myself. My name is Melissa Ebkin. I'm the pastor of the Iliopolis and the Nyanic Christian Churches in Iliopolis and Nyanic, Illinois. I'm the founder of Light Life and Love Ministries. This is for those who are spiritual but not religious, and I am the host of the Pursuing Uncomfortable podcast. That said, I go live here on Facebook every Monday morning at 9 a.m. Central Time, and today I want to talk to you about the benefits of prayer and meditation. Now, there are a lot of different ways to pray. Prayer doesn't just happen when we're sitting quietly with our hands crossed. There are numerous ways to pray. In fact, when I learned that I prayed best when I was moving my body, amazing things happened with my soul and my spirit. However, there are specific values and merits to what we call centering prayer and other folks call meditation. And that's when you're sitting in silence and you clear out your thoughts I mean, as best you can. Thoughts are going to come in when you're meditating or praying in this fashion, but you don't get caught up on that. You see, A thought comes in, you acknowledge it, and you just let it pass on through. But when we can do that practice for 10 minutes a day, it is going to change our life in huge ways. In fact, it's going to have some profound effects on our bodies. It does. We are all connected. Well, we're all connected as people, but also in our bodies, we are connected physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and enacting something in one realm of that affects all the others. If we do something in our physical bodies, it's going to affect us mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and if we do something spiritually, it's going to affect us in those other ways as well. It's very connected, body, mind, and spirit. So what are some of these benefits? I'm going to go through six today. Six benefits of spending 10 minutes praying or meditating. Praying in this fashion, meditating. So let's get started. One, you're going to become smarter. Yes, it's true. The prefrontal cortex, which is the part of our brain that's right here in front, it has you know, we call that a lot of gray matter, but that part of our brain is, well, it's in charge of all the, all the stuff that makes us responsible. That's where we make decisions. That's where we, ha it, where we process social cues and all of those things. That's the part of our brain when things are going very well in our lives. That's the part of the brain that's running things when it's at the controls. So when we do a practice of prayer and meditation for 10 minutes every day, it thickens the gray matter in that part of our brains. There are studies that show this, don't take my word for it. Um, Columbia School for Professional Studies has released and published some articles on this and there are other things around, so look into that yourself. But it's true, uh, age and increased levels of stress can cause that gray matter to be Thin, we lose some of it, but prayer and meditation, 10 minutes a day, can make it thicker, and we will become smarter. I like it. So, not and not only that, but it gives us a sense of peace and calm, and I want to focus on that for sure. When we do this meditation practice, when we do a centering prayer practice, there's a sense of peace and calm that is a huge benefit of it. So I want to incorporate the, that sense of peace and calm as part of our practice in the discussion. 
excuse me, so six benefits of not only praying and meditating, but also six benefits of that inner peace and calm. One is we become smarter. Two, we increase our capacity for empathy and compassion. You know, we are all different. We have different cultures, different backgrounds, different religions, different viewpoints, maybe a different race or ethnic origin, but really, we're all the same. We all want joy in our lives. We want to be happy, have a sense of safety, and be able to care for those we love. And if we have children, we want to care for our children and we want to raise them well. And all of this transcends the differences that we find among us. Praying and meditating for 10 minutes every day can increase our levels of empathy and compassion for others. And a big aspect of this is letting go of the negative voices and the self-talk. And I will tell you that when you start to meditate or do centering prayer, if you're new at doing this, you're going to have a lot of the negative voices come into your thoughts. Those things that that would tear you down instead of build you up. You're gonna have a lot of those, but replace them, reframe them. Replace the negative thoughts with a positive one. So if you get a thought, um, uh, I'm not good enough to do this. Okay, acknowledge, recognize that you had that thought and then change that thought to, I have accomplished a lot in my life and I can continue to accomplish more. Just change that into from a negative into a positive. And over time, you're going to start feeling lighter, like a weight has been lifted from your shoulders. And you're gonna become a lot less critical of the people around you. Interestingly, those who work as physical trainers tell me time and time again without fail that people that come to them that want to lose weight, they need to talk. They need to deal with the inner stuff that once they can talk it out and get rid of those inner things that they've been holding on to, that's when the weight comes off. It matters. It matters. A third one, and this might surprise you a little bit, but it will improve your digestion. It does. There is a link between our stress levels and our digestive problems. So if you're tired of all the that comes along with poor digestion, then think about adding 10 minutes of prayer and meditation to your life. The gut is what some people are calling it the second brain because it has billions and billions of neurons. It's a significant player in our nervous system and it so therefore, when we're stressed out, the first organ that's gonna feel it is our, is our gut. And I think you probably realize this already. When you have fear or anxiety or stress, you feel it in your gut. So it's going to, that sense of peace and calm that comes with 10 minutes of centering prayer and meditation is going to help with that. So after a while, I don't know, after a couple of weeks or so, you're going to notice that your digestion will improve. So it just kind of aligns our energies and allows that biome in there to regain its beneficial bacteria. Number four, we're going to become happier. We will. Inner peace, when you feel that sense of peace and calm inside, it affects your mood. It affects your outlook. It's possible to be more positive and to achieve more inner peace and become a happier person. Our brains can be trained just like the muscles in our bodies. With intentional action, we can train our brains to be more positive and to be happier. It just takes, specific, it takes action and it takes intention to carry through on that action. 10 minutes. 10 minutes of a day in centering prayer or meditation. 10 minutes 
of just being still and emptying our minds. Focus on your breath. Focus on a mantra. Focus on God. But just 10 minutes. Okay, what's next? Is that retraining of our brain. Did you realize that on a normal day, on a good day, our body enters into fight or flight three times? On an average good day, a human being will have a fight or flight response three times throughout the day. And that adds stress on the body. And that works to, you know, affect our gut biome. It thins that gray matter. So having a practice of 10 minutes every day is going to restore that and build that back up. And it's going to train our brains to be healthier, to be more positive. And number six, it's going to strengthen our immune system. Where does our immune system live? It lives in our gut. So a healthier gut, a healthier immune system. It's incredible how everything is so connected. Our immune system is always working quietly in the background, sending out little ninjas to fight off uh, external invaders that would threaten our health. And when we have a stress response that suppresses the ability of our immune system to do that, it weakens our immune system and keeps it from doing its job real well. So the good news is that we can, we can boost our immune system all the time. 10 minutes. 10 minutes each day of centering prayer and meditation can have a profound Found effect on our mood, on our physical health, on our mental health, and on our general experience of life. 10 minutes a day. It's a lot better than, you know, spending a lot of money on prescriptions and doing these other things. These other things, the other things, the other ways that we take care of our physical bodies are so important. Get health care when you need it. Get the prescriptions that you need. But 10 minutes a day of centering prayer and meditation costs zero, and it can have profound effects. So that's what I have for you today. Start praying. And if you want some insights on prayer, here's the moment of shameless self-promotion. I happened to have written a book about prayer and hop over to my website at lightlifeandloveministries.com and check out the book. It's called Teach Us to Pray. But that said, my name is Melissa Epkin. I want for you to have abundant spiritual health. I want you to have as much joy in your life as possible. And there are simple ways that we can go about making that happen. So get to pray. I'll see you next week. Bye for now. Well, maybe bye for now if I can hit the button. <laughs>